What if the key to slowing aging, sharpening your mind, and cleansing your body wasn't hidden in a pill, a diet, or a lab, but in your breath? MIT researchers recently uncovered something astonishing, a simple seven-minute breathing pattern that triggers the same cellular repair mechanism, autophagy, that a three-day fast would normally activate. No hunger, no deprivation, no endless discipline, just air, rhythm, and awareness. High in the frozen Himalayas, over 2,000 years ago, Tibetan monks practiced this same technique, a method they called tumo, the inner fire. They used it to stay alert, calm, and warm through harsh winters, preserving youth and clarity well into old age. For centuries, their secret remained cloaked in mystery. Now, modern science finally understands it. With each conscious breath, you're not just taking in oxygen, you're sending molecular instructions to your body. You're telling yourselves it's time to renew. Most people think fasting works because you stop eating, but the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine revealed a deeper truth. Fasting heals because it activates autophagy, the body's self-cleaning system. When food intake stops, your cells switch from building mode to repair mode, breaking down damaged proteins, clearing toxins, and regenerating fresh energy. Yet scientists have now discovered that this same internal switch can be flipped, not with food restriction, but with controlled breathing. When you slow your breath, hold it, and extend your exhale, oxygen levels fall slightly and carbon dioxide gently rises. This subtle imbalance tricks your body into believing it's fasting. The enzymes and genes that drive autophagy awaken. Your metabolism recalibrates. You begin to clean, to clear, to restore. Your breath becomes your most direct path to cellular renewal, nature's oldest, most elegant signal for healing. Long before biology could explain it, monks in the Himalayas mastered this language of breath. Their method, known as TUMO, was more than meditation. It was transformation. With every deliberate inhale and exhale, they generated heat, strength, and clarity. In freezing snow, their bodies radiated warmth. In silence, their minds burned bright. Today, longevity researchers have decoded the mystery. This pattern of breathing shifts the body from growth to repair, mimicking the same state that fasting achieves after days of deprivation. It is not about hyperventilating or forcing air. It is precision, an exact rhythm of breath and stillness that alters chemistry itself. In just seven minutes, this breath reduces inflammation, balances stress hormones, and reawakens the body's hidden capacity to heal. The monks called it burning impurities. Modern scientists call it activating AMPK, the master switch of metabolism. Two words, one truth. The fire was never spiritual metaphor, it was biology. When you breathe in deeply, pause, and let the exhale extend beyond comfort, your body enters a state called controlled hypoxia, a mild, safe oxygen reduction. Inside your cells, this moment sparks a survival code. The enzyme AMPK rises. The growth signal, MTOR, quiets. And the genes of autophagy, ULK1, ATG7, BEC1, awaken. These are not abstract processes. They are the microscopic choreography of renewal. Mitochondria, your cellular engines, repair themselves. Misfolded proteins, the byproducts of stress and aging, are dismantled and rebuilt into stronger forms. Your metabolism begins to mirror that of someone fasting for days, but you are doing it through air alone. The breath becomes instruction, guiding every cell to restore balance. Science now calls this metabolic switching, but ancient practitioners simply called it life force mastery, the art of commanding your biology through the stillness between breaths. Now the rhythm begins. 
Inhale for 5 seconds. Hold for 5. Exhale for 10. Slow, steady, intentional. No strain, no haste. With each cycle, carbon dioxide builds up, enhancing oxygen delivery throughout your body. This is the Bohr effect in action, a physiological key long hidden in plain sight. As you continue, your heart rate steadies, your mind clears, and your body slips naturally into a state of repair. The nervous system calms, guiding you from the chaos of stress to the serenity of restoration. Beneath the surface, autophagy begins its quiet work, clearing, recycling, renewing. It's a rhythm older than civilization itself, the original code of human balance. 10 or 12 rounds and you feel it, warmth in your chest, clarity in your thoughts, a grounded presence replacing restlessness. What began as breathing has now become biology, a conversation between ancient breath and modern cells. When the final exhale leaves your lungs, pause, hold the breath out, wait in stillness for 30 to 60 seconds, long enough to feel both the emptiness and the power that lives within it. This moment is where the transformation peaks. The absence of oxygen, though brief, signals your body to enter a fasting-like state. Ketones rise, energy efficiency spikes, and the same genes that drive repair ignite once more. A warmth spreads through your core. You are not starving, you are signaling. In that still silence, the body reorganizes itself. Cells sense scarcity and begin rebuilding from within. Repeating this hold two or three times deepens the effect. Each time, your body grows more resilient, more adaptable. The monks describe this as merging body and mind with the breath of life. Science now describes it as optimizing mitochondrial performance. Both describe the same truth, renewal through rhythm. This breath is potent, but must be treated with respect. It is not about force or endurance. It is about awareness. If you feel dizzy, pause. If you feel discomfort, breathe gently until balance returns. The sensation of air hunger is not danger. It is dialogue. Your body is learning flexibility, expanding its range of resilience. For best results, practice in a fasted state. Morning is ideal, or at least three hours after eating. Avoid it if you're pregnant, have epilepsy, heart conditions, or panic disorders. For everyone else, this is a safe, natural awakening. Within minutes, your cells will feel the signal. A warmth may bloom through your skin, a calm alertness behind your eyes. That's the moment of shift your body has remembered how to clean itself. You are no longer fighting against time, you are aligning with it. When practiced daily, this breath becomes a ritual of renewal. In the first week, your body learns the signal, autophagy genes awaken and the process of detox begins. By the second week, energy stabilizes, brain fog lifts, and your metabolism adapts to this new rhythm. By the third week, renewal becomes your baseline, autophagy efficiency increases by nearly 20%, and your cells perform as if they were years younger. This is not spiritual imagination, it's cellular adaptation measured by science. The benefits reach beyond the body, clearer focus, improved memory, fewer cravings, steadier mood, and a sense of clarity that feels effortless. With each session, your cells learn the pattern faster. You begin to fast without fasting, not through hunger, but through intelligence. It's not about restriction. It's about remembering how your body was designed to heal when you let it breathe as it was meant to. Caloric restriction has long been the gold standard for extending lifespan. But modern biology shows that breath alone can activate the same longevity pathways. Continuous activation of autophagy reduces oxidative stress 
protects mitochondria, and stabilizes metabolism. In animal studies, this translates to a 30% increase in lifespan. But this is not just about living longer. It's about living better. It's about energy that doesn't crash, focus that doesn't fade, and a mind that feels both calm and sharp. Every time you engage this breath, you signal your body to preserve life, to optimize efficiency, to delay decay. You are not hacking your biology, you are harmonizing with it. Longevity is no longer tied to deprivation, it's tied to awareness. The secret of youth was never hidden in a diet or serum, it was hidden in the space between your inhale and your exhale. And here lies the most profound discovery of all. The mind follows the breath. As your cells clear waste, your brain clears noise. Neural pathways linked to intention and focus strengthen. Those tied to distraction and fear dissolve. This is neuroplasticity guided by metabolism. The monks who practiced this knew that the thoughts you hold during breathwork shape the self that emerges after. Science now proves it. During autophagy, the brain selectively preserves what aligns with growth. You are not just cleaning yourselves, you are sculpting your consciousness. Every breath becomes a choice, what to release, what to keep, what to become. The breath renews not only the body, but the mind that directs it. The ancients called this fasting the mind into clarity. Today, we call it becoming human again, conscious, vibrant, alive. This is not mysticism. It is molecular truth rediscovered, the science of self-healing wrapped in the language of breath. The monks called it burning away impurities. Researchers call it metabolic reprogramming. But the essence is the same. Through breath, the body remembers how to cleanse, how to balance, how to begin again. Tomorrow morning, before the noise of the world stirs, sit quietly and try the seven-minute fasting breath. Do it once, then again the next day, and again for 21 days. Watch how your clarity sharpens, how your energy steadies, how your biological age begins to drift backward. You don't need to starve to heal. You only need to breathe as your ancestors once did, deeply, rhythmically, consciously. The secret of renewal was never lost. It was simply waiting inside your breath for you to remember.